Hey, what's going on, everyone? Here, uh, Hudson Northcutt here from RealRCReviews.com, and today we're going to be unboxing the Bernard RC Vortex. Uh, I got this from GetFPV, and I uh, got it actually on their July 4th uh, holiday sale. <clears throat> Came with 5% off. So I got the Vortex, um, the, uh, the GoPro recliner thing, and um, a few props. And I think I walked away with about a $498 uh, bill. Um, like I said, I bought it on their July 4th deal, so of course it wasn't going to be as expensive as it normally would. I think the Vortex was like $420 um, without the, or with the um, July 4th sale. And without it, it was more along the lines of, I think it's $448, $449, depending on where you buy it. Anyway. Uh, right off the bat, it's perfectly packaged. Um, let's go ahead and hide the, all the good stuff here, like my address. Uh, it's really well packaged. Of course, postal service. I got it through USPS. So um, I wanted to make sure. Ah, you can still probably see it. Uh, who cares? It's going. I'm on the internet anyway. They'll find me if they want to come find me. So here's the vortex, uh, 285 millimeter. Right off the bat, and I think it just slung something. And, okay, here are all the other goodies. So, this is the, um, <clears throat> this is the Get FPV Special Edition. And the Special Edition means that it comes with limiter motors. And what the limiter motors have on them is basically, they, um, if you were to bend the prop shaft on the motor with the old, uh, or with the, um, other non Get FPV Vortexes, you would have to replace the whole motor. But with the Get FPV Vortex, all you would have to do is replace the prop shaft, to my understanding. So, um, in here, I can already see that this is uh, for the Get FPV motors. Uh, they're rebranded Lumineer, but of course they're all, or they're uh, rebranded to Lumineer, but of course they're all um, uh, T motors. So, in uh, this bag here is the GoPro recliner kit. And um, I actually complained um, on Facebook to the Immersion RC uh, group that um, I thought it was completely outrageous to pay 27 or 28, however much the GoPro recliner kit is, for a freaking recliner or recliner recliner kit. Uh, that's just that's just kind of silly to me. But uh, I want to say his name is Chad. I'm not sure his last name, but I think his first name was Chad. He uh, sent me a PM. He was real nice about it. He said that he was the designer behind the recliner kit, and that um, they use top-notch carbon fiber. I forgot what um, what how you judge carbon fiber. I think it's like the cloth and mount weave. I'm not for sure, but anyway, comes with foam, a strap, a GoPro video cable, your little rubber grommets, and of course the carbon fiber pieces themselves. And I also got some uh, gym fan props. Uh, these are actually five by four and a half, and then I also got a set of five by threes. Um, wasn't sure where I'd be standing, and a lot of people were already right off the bat told me I was going to need more props. Don't worry about it. I've already brought, I've already bought more, but um, I don't plan on going um, super speed um, just quite yet. So anyway, this is the Vortex box. Um, it's really, really light. Kind of impressed already. Um, it's really nice packaging. I don't like the plastic, but that's it's not, it's not. I'm used to iPhone and Mac plastic, so that's why. Um, uh, the Vortex is a unique foldable quadcopter designed for FPV racing, brought to you by the Merchant RC team. Preloaded with open source clean flat flat controller firmware, add a receiver and a suitable battery, and the Vortex is ready to fly. So, um, <clears throat> off the bat, I was. Uh, Planning on using an Immersion RC 4 channel Easy UHF receiver. They have been having some problems with it. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, Immersion RC is about to issue a statement. This screw came out of my laptop last night when I was working on it. Sorry about that. ADHD, ADD, whatever. And uh, anyway, they were working on a fix for it, but in the meantime, people are running um, PPM receivers. If you're using a Spectrum receiver, uh, you can't use it. You have to have a PPM converter, and um, again, I only buy Spectrum equipment, so therefore, uh, PPM for me is out of the question. However, Immersion RC has released a new firmware update to where you can solder a Spectrum satellite, DSU2 or DSMX, at the 1024 to 2048 frame rate 
to run off the Vortex. So you don't need a PPM converter if you want to just run straight up Spectrum. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the satellites do not go as far as that of a regular receiver, but I think that's not the case. Uh, I actually have a BBM KingCat running a Spectrum 1221 PowerSafe receiver, and that is basically where the receiver is a power distribution board connected to the servos with four satellites running as the main receiver. And I get fantastic range out of that. Uh, of course, it's a turbine jet that goes, you know, 199.9999 miles an hour. Of course, you'll have to get good range. Can't doubt your radio system. So I was the plastic wrap. And if you want to scan a QR code to get more information, there's your QR code. Ah. Wish the dog would quit barking, but she's not. So, right off the bat, to open it up. How the devil do you? Okay, right here. Oh, tractor. Oh, that's the country. So, little flap comes undone. US, I mean, I've been having a lot of problems with these, um, but I think the majority of the problems have been issues. Have been issued or have been uh, resolved. Um, I'm sure, a lot of them are just you know completely user error, and you know I understand if you can't you know fix some things, but if it's user error, please say it's user error, and you know just don't completely blame it on the manufacturer. So I just got like this strong hit of foam. Uh, Vortex quit start guide. It actually passed QC three days after my birthday, 6 9 2015. Talks about the batteries, the setup wizard. Uh, that's cool. Okay. A little foam came off, and here is the Vortex. Initial impressions looks great. Positive, negative battery, fantastic. Oh my god, this thing is small. Um, I don't want to, you know, pull out the phone and break it, but, uh, okay, well, that's great. So, the props on the Vortex, um, are 5030s, gym fans, so that makes me feel more comfortable, and I wonder if these are 5040s. These are 5030s as well. So, I feel like I, I bought the right props, or decent enough props, so that, that, um, that makes me feel comfortable. So, um, also, uh, first, right off the bat, let me get the camera here. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that it's a 700 TVL camera right there. I don't know if you can see it. A lot of people were complaining that uh, theirs only came with the um, 600 TVLs and that the 700s were optional. That people complained that it was a rebrand issue. And eh. so, anyway, um, and also people were complaining that I just don't know the best way to grab this out of the box. You know what? I'm going to grab it by the Velcro straps. Uh, people were also complaining that, I'm missing something here, that um, the USB connector was breaking, and that uh, that was due to a uh, shipment issue, and uh, they even gave you the nice little spiral net antenna. Okay. And, you know, like I was, going back to my initial statement, if it's, if it's a user error, guys, you know, say so, because you're preventing the company from making profit and you're preventing you know other people from buying it so you know uh be kind rewind that kind of thing so there's the vortex all folded up pretty happy really um like i said it's running clean flat software this is all built all the escs are already pre-installed in the frame they've even got wireless around it golly so the initial impression is fantastic Fantastic. Um, I don't have my batteries in yet. I am going to be running, I know, don't get bad at me, I'm going to be running um, Hobby King 20C discharge batteries, and uh, they're going to be 1300 milliamps, 45C, but for the meantime, I'm going to be using this uh, 20C 2200 milliamp battery. Uh, just to give you a little look at what the size of the battery tray is, or little battery holder thing, I guess you could say. Starts from right here to right here. Move that out of the way. And a 2200 will barely fit on it, so um, I don't. I mean, if you, yeah, a lot of people are probably curious as to if a 2200 will fit on it. This is a 2200 Zippy. It's not a compact series, so there's your story. So the frame folds up, and the arms just bend forward. Whoa! And the arms feel pretty locked into place when you push them forward. Wow. 
So, uh, this is the Vortex. And I think one of the one of the uh, neatest things on here, really, is I'm kind of excited about the LED board back here. So that will be uh, very cool. And another thing I'm noticing... Okay, one of the things I'm already noticing is um, <clears throat> the camera plate is suspendable. And uh, basically, uh, this is the angle that the camera's at. So if the camera was straight and level, that's the angle the vortex will be flying at. Uh, but one thing I'm noticing is that um, this camera plate right here holds the flat cam but also holds the GoPro, which will also, uh, yeah, will also hold the GoPro. It's fully suspendable. So they are basically eliminating, you know, attempting to eliminate all vibration. And uh, that's, uh, that's, that's cool. I'm, I'm really impressed by that, actually. So, we'll go ahead. And um, going back to this little bitty parts package, um, I did not get a crash kit. Uh, a lot of people were saying that they were and they weren't getting crash kits, but if I'm not mistaken, crash kits were only available to those who pre-ordered it, maybe in the first batch. And I want to say this might be the second or third. I don't know how to tell the batches, but going from um, saying uh, the order, uh, let's, what, am I, what am I trying to say? Basically, whenever they would sell them and sell out of them, I think that's the difference between the batches. I'm not for sure, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but if that's the case, this is the third batch. This little spiral net antenna just screws down like so. Okay. And you got a nice little apple. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing already off the bat is this motor is having a little tough time spinning. Uh, you can kind of just do that with your pinky like that, but you, it's uh, wow. Okay, that that might be a problem actually. We will have to see about that. Um, it just pretty much refuses to spin uh, in a good clockwise direction. So uh, that might be an issue. It doesn't spin freely. So we'll have to, maybe it will run just fine, who knows. Anyway, um, so yeah, right off the bat, one thing I will go ahead and do is probably install a Spectrum satellite, maybe, uh, probably right here at the back of the board and make some type of custom mount to where it will stand up uh, to get the best reception. Um, uh, let's see what else. These got XT60 connectors on them and they're, it's, it's full carbon fiber. And I will be totally honest, um, I didn't know it was full carbon fiber. I knew the booms were, or the arms. But I had absolutely no idea that the whole entire frame itself was carbon fiber. And it's got some really tough plastic on the sides for reinforcement right here. Um, going back, I know I'm all over the board right now, I know. Uh, going back a little bit, um, uh, Luminaire gives you the prop adapters and uh, the little bitty prop nuts. So basically you get the immersion stock. And then you get um, you get the merchant stock stuff, and then you get get FPV stuff. Then going to this other little baggie, uh, I'm not sure what those. Okay, those are extra grommets. Going back to this other little baggie, they have these two little bitty uh, aluminum pieces, and you're actually supposed to mount these to the back of the arm. That way, if in fact there is a crash, uh, it will not fold up. I don't want to break it. It will not fold up and smack the LED board like so. It doesn't feel like it would, but of course, you know, if you crashed hard enough, yeah, it will. And that was uh, another problem that people were having. So, without further ado, this is the Immersion RC Vortex. And I will not have a video of me setting it up or anything. 
Um, there are plenty other videos out there uh, for that. But I do have a 700 TV line camera. Um, this is version 1.3, whatever that means. PDB soft or PDB PDB board style. Um, all in all, this is uh, this is I, I would say this is a bang for the buck, and I'm actually holding it by this tail section, so that just gives you a cool idea right there. That is this is just too cool. So uh, this is like I said, the Immersion RC Vortex. I'll give you a little quick roll around here. The GoPro is getting extremely hot. Uh, this is the Immersion RC Vortex, and um, it's very, very impressive, really. So, just spinning around a few times, and you can notice notice the uh, angle on the camera out here. I mean, you've got to really, really, really lean forward to get that camera straight. So that'd be kind of weird taking off for the first time, I bet. And here is your single line out PPM cable. And on the back, your RGB, or your, yeah, RGB, red, green, blue board lights, and your USB port. And to watch it fold, I don't want to break a board here. Come on now. Like that. Like that. Like that. And you're ready for tr well, hang on now. And you're ready for transportation. So guys, this concludes the unboxing and the initial overview of the Vortex. Like I said, I won't have a manual. I won't 